Hey guys, I'm Denim. Welcome back to my studio. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys some of my latest figurines that I have just added to my collection. So today we'll be focusing on dog figurines. Okay, check this out. We have a box, so we need to sort out all the different dog figurines inside this box. We'll read some facts about each and every single one of them. So let's get started. Okay, so let's begin. The first one right here, I think it's actually a bird. So we will leave this figure for another day, okay? Another video. So this one, I think it's a cat. So we will only be focusing on dogs today. So let's open this up. This looks like a boxer. Maybe like a terrier. I'm not too sure. So let's have a look at this. All right, let's check out the name written right below. It basically says it's a boxer. Um, every figure actually comes with some facts. I can't really tell you guys, you know, like what brand this is for, okay? Because YouTube don't really allow promotion of different brands. So I'm just gonna read the facts for you guys, okay? The boxer was first bred in Germany in the 1800s. Very nice, okay? Um, check this out. So yeah, this is basically a boxer figure. Really, really beautiful. Let's take this out, okay? So I'm gonna put it right over here, okay? Uh, we need to like take a nice photo for our thumbnail later on as well. Okay, here seems to be another bird figure. So I will leave this for another day. Oh, this one is a huge one. So let's rip this open. It seems to be uh, a Deshaun. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, um, it seems to be, I I'm not too sure. Let's just take a look at the name. <laughs> All right, so how do we open this? Wow, it's a huge figure. So, oh yes, it's actually known as the Great Dane. Nice, 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 very nice. Okay, so let's open this up and have a look at some facts about the Great Dane. A Great Dane named Zeus was the tallest dog ever, standing 44 inches tall. So, I think the tallest dog so far, it's a Great Dane. Yep, Great Danes, they are actually like, they're actually known as gentle giants if I'm not wrong. Place this right over here. Looks really, really beautiful, this figure, I must say. Okay, the next one. Okay, we. I, I think this is a Labrador, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. A black Labrador, yes, I'm right. You know, I'm trying to um, sort of like, you know, tell you the names without looking at the name itself. So it's a black Labrador, a 2007 um, figure. Yeah, looks really beautiful. Labradors, they do have some similarities to uh, Retrievers, I think. Yep, in terms of appearance as well. Okay, let's open this up and have a look. What is this? It basically says that Labrador Retrievers were bred in 19th century to retrieve game and waterfowl. Waterfowl. Game basically means, for example, when hunters, you know, go out to hunt, for example, like birds, they will be there to like retrieve them. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's remove this. Yep. Next one, let's see. I think this is a German Shepherd. Oh, this figure has been opened already. I think that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay for me. German Shepherd, oh, you can see this is actually a um, very old figure. So let's have a look at this. I think, how old is this? Um, It's not exactly very old. 2001, yeah, it doesn't have a fact cut. So I know that German Shepherds, they are extremely loyal dogs and um, they're extremely intelligent. They are also very, very brave, okay? So a lot of like police dogs, um, they actually use German Shepherds, yep. Next, what do we have? This is a cat, so for another video. I think this is known as a Deshaun, if I'm not wrong. Yep, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, but yeah, you get the idea. So let's have a look at this cute little dog. Okay, they have like very stubby legs. Their body seems to be very long for the size of their legs. The length of the legs, I mean. Okay, let's see what's written right here. The name Deshaun is, is of, it's of German origin and literally means badger dog. Nice. Okay, let's take this out. So you can see it is quite a small dog. Very adorable, very cute. They have like very short legs as compared to the size of the body. So super adorable. I love them. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this seems to be a um, McCall. Green wing McCall. So this is for another video. Okay, this one is a Snorzer. Snorzer, Snorzer. 
Okay, I used to have um, a neighbor who kept a lot of schnauzers. Yeah, they were very adorable. But I, I must say, the, the box are actually very, very loud. Okay, schnauzer. It's a 2003 figure. So let's see what facts are written right here, guys. Okay, let's see. Schnauzers were first bred in Germany in 1490 to catch rats. <laughs> okay, catch rats? Really? Okay, so you must be really good at catching rats, I guess. Yeah, you can see they have like very beautiful whisker right over here. Uh, I mean, they're not supposed to be whisker, but they look like, you know, they look like the beard of a human. Alright, and um, what do we have right here? Another cat, and this is actually known as a Siamese cat. I think we already have this figure, if I'm not wrong. Let's see, what else we've got? Another... I think this is a corgi. Corgi are extremely adorable dogs, I'm gonna say. I'm not exactly sure whether this is a corgi. So let's have a look together. Collie... It's a collie puppy, guys. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, it also comes with a fat card. Collie puppy. If a collie puppy nips at your heels, it's exhibiting her dink behavior. The house stream very quickly and will grow to be gentle, friendly, and especially protective of young children. Wow, that's very nice. Very protective of young children. Okay, I, I think let's remove this um, little um, tag right here. This little sticker on its um, lick as well. Yep, so this is a collie. It's a puppy. Super adorable, I'm gonna say. It does, doesn't really look accurate, I'm gonna say, but yeah. What do we have right here? I think this is a husky. Siberian husky. Yeah, they're such beautiful um, animals. So let's open this up. Okay, let's see what is written right here. Siberian Husky. The tolerance for cold climates, endurance, and ability to survive on little food make Huskies ideal sled dogs. Wow, I didn't know that they can survive with very little food. Okay, this is a beautiful Husky figure, but I must say the face doesn't really look very accurate. Okay. But yeah, I have seen huskies before. They are extremely beautiful. Okay, next up. I think this is a terrier, I think. Let's see. Boston Terrier, right? Yep, it's a Boston Terrier. Extremely adorable dogs as well. Plenty of character. Let's have a look at the facts about this. Boston Terriers were the first dog breed to be developed in the United States. Wow, nice. Very nice. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Alright, next up. Wow, what is this? This seems to be a giant poodle. Okay, let's see. Yep, it's a poodle. Okay, there's no giant. I beg your pardon. Let's have a look at this. Yep, poodles. This is um. I think this is like the um, traditional breed of poodles, which are very big. Poodle comes from the German word Pudin, meaning to splash, just like the word Pado. Nice, very nice. Okay, so I'll try to remember that. So the next time when we have a look at all these figures again, I'm able to tell you uh, what are the names and what are you know, the trademark and the behavior of um, every single dog. Next, this seems to be a German Shepherd puppy. Yes, I think so. I think I'm right. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at what's written below, just to be sure. Um, German Shepherd puppy running. <laughs> <laughs> it even described that it is running for you guys. Okay, let's see what is written right here. Germany developed German Shepherds as a breed for herding and guarding sheep. Yeah, they are very smart. They can guard sheep. At the same time, they are also very, very good, um, you know, protectors of um, 
uh, your home. Yeah, they're very brave. I love them. All right. Let's see what else we got. What is this? Oh, this is a a bulldog, I think. Let's see what is written right here. Yes, a bulldog. Yes, nice. Very adorable ones as well. Okay. Their face actually looks a little bit like a pug. So let's see what is written right here. The French Bulldog, yes, this is actually a French Bulldog. Has a small body covered with smooth fur. Yeah, they're very adorable. I mean, I've seen plenty of like Instagram reels about um, French Bulldogs. Extremely adorable. Some of them are so famous. What is this? Golden Retriever. I think this is my most favorite breed of dogs because I used to have um, a Golden Retriever when I was um, very young. Extremely beautiful, um, gentle, extremely, extremely gentle natured dogs and so intelligent, so loving. Yeah, I think they are like, I'm not too sure, like very, very good for kids as well. The Golden Retriever is known for good health and a willing, adaptable nature. Yeah, they're just so nice. Yeah. I've never really seen like a, um, you know, yeah. All Golden Retrievers are nice. I mean, of all of the ones that I've met, yeah, all of them are super nice and super intelligent. Let's see, what else we got? What is this? Another bird. Yes, we have to do like a bird collection really soon. Very soon. Okay, this is another one. This seems to be a um, albatross. Yeah, it is an albatross. Nice. What is this? Seems to be a collie. Yes, collie are so beautiful dogs. They look so elegant. Yep. Yeah, I think it's nice to actually have a collie. But I think they need plenty of exercise. Exercisers. Um, the collie makes a great companion and friend you can count on. Yes, that's very nice. Okay, let's remove the tag. So check this out. Yeah, it's very cool. Very beautiful collie. So we do have a collie puppy. Where is our collie puppy? So yeah, they will actually make, you know, very nice together. Very, very nice. Let's see, what else we've got? Okay, this is a cat figure. So the cat figure, I will leave it for another video. Another cat? Yep, definitely for another video. Maybe we can do like a cats and dogs collection really soon. Yep, stay tuned for that. And this seems to be a French Bulldog, I think. Let's have a look at this. I think it should be a French Bulldog. Let's see. Let's check out the name right below. It's a Bulldog. It basically just says Bulldog. Yeah, but I think it's a French Bulldog. Oops. Let's have a look at what is written right here. French Bulldogs originated from miniature English Bulldogs that became popular in France in the 1800s. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's do a very quick comparison with our previous um, Bulldog. Okay, I think this is a French Bulldog and this is a... This could be a British Bulldog. Yeah. And this is a um, Boston Terrier. Different. They're, they do have some similarities when it comes to the face, but they're different. Another bird. Wow, what is this? Wow and Hinga. What is that? I can't wait for my next video, guys. This is a crow. Yeah, this is a crow. Nice one. And here it's a... It seems to be a Jack Russell Terrier, guys. Yeah, Jack Russell Terrier. Extremely, extremely fast. Extremely um, energetic. Yep. They can be quite destructive if you don't bring them out for exercise often. This little dogs may only be 12 inches long, but their energy knows no limits. Yes, they are super incredible when it comes to their stamina. I used to have a um, Jack Russell, so I brought the Jack Russell out um, for a run. And after that, we actually ran um, you know, up 12 flights of stairs. It was incredible. And he was able to follow me, able to run side by side with me. Extremely, extremely high stamina. Yeah. Oh, 
This is actually the German Shepherd um, card. The German Shepherd is keenly intelligent and loyal. Its strong, happy tail can clear tables with a single swipe. <laughs> yes, the tail is very, very long and is very powerful. So you have to be careful with the tail. Yeah. All right. This is another bird. This one looks to be um, quite a nice one. It's a lorikeet. All right. And this one, what is this? Um, I can't remember the name of this breed of dog. Let's see. Border Collie. Ah, nice. Border Collie are also very, very um, high energy dogs. Okay. They are very fast as well. I think they are also breed to like guard sheep as well. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what is written. These dogs have eyes like a hawk and speed and silent nature of a racing hound. Yeah, they are extremely fast. If I remember correctly, they are always like taking part in competitions. Extremely, extremely fast dogs, guys. All right. So this is basically my collection, my new collection of dog figurines. Um, yeah, I think in total, we actually have a lot more, okay? Thanks for watching this video, guys. Okay, um, I'll just quickly line them up to make like a nice, um, to make like a nice photo, nice thumbnail. Okay, you guys know I need to make nice thumbnails so that you guys will actually want to watch my videos. But of course, thumbnails are uh, not everything. My content is the most important one. So hopefully, you guys love my content. Okay, and um, yes, stay tuned. Next video probably i'm not too sure when we'll create the next video probably on friday or it could be tomorrow i want to do like a cat collection um and dogs for you guys okay all right yeah this will be my thumbnail thanks for watching this i will see you guys in the next video okay goodbye